Okay, so I've decided to start using my DJI Osmo Pocket 3 as my main camera in the studio for video creations, especially for videos like this YouTube videos. And this is what I'm going to be using from now on. I got my Osmo Pocket 3 like three to four months ago. And ever since I got the Osmo Pocket 3, content creation has been easier for me, mainly because I do not have to go through a lot of stress, which I go through a lot of process, which I go through in using my normal traditional professional camera in setting up for my video creations. Looking at the flexibility that the Osmo Pocket 3 has given me over this time is one of the reasons why I felt like I can use the Osmo Pocket 3 in the studio to also create my YouTube content and content for other platforms. I've been using my Osmo Pocket 3 to shoot vlogs, do BTS or photography and also do travel videos but mostly this has been outdoors. I've tested the Osmo Pocket 3 for enough outdoor shoots and I'm pleased about the results. You know, it's flexible to use, very easy to use, it's very versatile and very portable to carry around. I can carry I carry my Osmo Pocket 3 almost anywhere and you won't even know that I'm carrying a camera while I'm holding the Osmo Pocket 3. So looking at how the Osmo Pocket 3 has been for my outdoor project. Now I brought it into the studio to also make it my main camera for my YouTube video. So let's look at some of the reasons why I've considered using the Osmo Pocket 3 as my main camera in the studio. Firstly, the Osmo Pocket 3 camera is very easy to set up for any type of shoot. Talk about outdoor, talk about indoors, talk about travel, talk about filming yourself while you're in the car, talk about filming yourself while you're walking, doing walking tours. The Osmo Pocket 3 is very easy. All you need to do is flip it open and the camera starts recording. This Osmo Pocket 3 is a combination of a camera and a gimbal itself which is very easy to use. It gives you a stable shot at any point in time that you're ready to shoot. Unlike when you have to mount your traditional camera on a tripod or a gimbal. It takes me a lot of time to do this and mostly this has always discouraged me from creating videos because most times when I get ideas to create videos, I spend one to two hours trying to get my setup right. And at the end of the day, I'm burnt out. Sometimes just thinking about the stress and the hard work to go through perfecting my setup even discourages me from making a video at all. So I postpone it to another day. Bring the Osmo Pocket 3 to the studio. All I need to do is add light into it. Just like that, I continue shooting. And secondly, I do not have to worry about video quality. The Osmo Pocket 3 camera has a one inch sensor which allows it to produce quality which is close to what you can get from a traditional professional camera. If I can get a quality video from the Osmo Pocket 3 with so much ease to set up and so much flexibility. So tell me why I should not consider a traditional camera such as my Nikon Z6 over my Osmo Pocket 3. The Osmo Pocket 3 shoots in 4K and shoots in different frames per second. I'm currently shooting on 4K and 24 frames per second. Almost the same settings I can get on the traditional camera is what I can also get with the Osmo Pocket 3 camera. And thirdly, the Osmo Pocket 3 camera is very portable, which means you can easily move the camera around in your studio and change your setup. I've literally changed the angle which I was filming myself before to a different angle and I've been able to do this under one minute and I'm still shooting my video and talking about using my traditional camera I have to think about the stress which I've gone through before getting the setup right and thinking isn't it necessary for me to go through that stress again just because I want, I want a change in angle so the traditional camera in some ways conditions me to one angle and that is where I have to shoot all my content even if there's a very important need for me to change the angle. And lastly, my audio setup is much more easier with the DJI Mic 2 which wirelessly connects with the Osmo Pocket 3 and records directly into the Osmo Pocket 3 then creates a backup, a 32-bit flow audio as a backup inside the DJI Mic 2 itself and this can be worked on in post-production to achieve a better audio quality. So with the quality of this video, do you think the Osmo Pocket 3 camera passes as a studio camera which can be used for YouTube videos? Drop your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you.